Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to use Tutor LMS Gradebook to grade your students' work. So let's get started. The Gradebook is basically an add on that lets you grade your students' work. This can be on courses, quizzes, or assignments. You can see that we have the free version of Tutor LMS installed. If we click on the add ons, you can see that our add ons have a padlock in them. And when you hover your mouse over here, you can see that it says it's available in Pro. If we scroll down, here is the Gradebook add-on. You can see this is also available in Pro. We need to get Tutor LMS Pro in order to get this add-on. You can get Tutor LMS Pro from the link in this video's description. There are various pricing plans for Tutor LMS. You can get the annual plans or you can get the lifetime plans, whichever suits your need. Once you're ready to buy a plan, just simply click on this button and download Tutor LMS Pro. We already have Tutor LMS Pro downloaded, so we are going to install it. To install Tutor LMS Pro, we are simply going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. From this section, we are simply going to click on this upload plugin button. We're going to choose a file from our computer and here we are going to click on the install now button and wait for the plugin to install. As you can see that the plugin installed successfully, we are going to click on the activate plugin button to activate the plugin. Okay, so our Tutor LMS Pro has been installed and you can see that uh, it says over here plugin activated. Also, there is a message over here that says there is an error with your Tutor Pro license. Automatic update has been turned off. You can either click on this link or you can hover your mouse over Tutor LMS Pro and click on license. Here, you have to input your license key and click on this button to connect your Tutor LMS Pro website. To use the gradebook, we're simply going to hover our mouse over Tutor LMS Pro and go to add-ons. Now you can see that we have access to all these add-ons. We are simply going to enable this and gradebook has been added. Now if we go to the courses page, you can see that we have a course over here and we also have the gradebook added over here. To access the gradebook settings, we can go to the settings and here we can click on gradebook. From here we can see the options. The first option is use points instead of grades. Down here it says enable this option to use numerical points instead of letter grades. So if you want to use numerical points instead of letter grades, you can enable this option. Enable GPA scale limit. Here it says turn it on if you want to show the limit of GPA scales, such as 3.8 out of 4. So if this is something you want, you can enable it. The next option is the separator between scores. So there will be a separator between your grades. As you can see in this example, it says 3.8 and here's a forward slash and it says 4.0. You can use other methods such as out of or out of 4 whatever you want. By default, this forward slash separator is used and we're fine with it. In the next option, you can see it says set the GPA scale limit. Currently, it's four. If you want, you can increase it to five also, but we like the 4.0. So we are going to keep it. After you're done, you can simply click on the save changes button to save all your changes. Next, let's go to gradebook. And from here, you can see we have no data. We can simply go to the grade settings tab over here. From this section, you can see that we have no grading system over here. We can import sample grade data or we can add a new one from here. So we're going to click on this button. And from this section, we can insert our grade name, grade point, maximum percentile and minimum percentile. We can also include a color for this grade. For example, let me set up a grading system. The grade name we will set is A+. For the point, we are going to set it to 4.0. For the maximum percentile, we're going to set it to 100. For the minimum percentile, we're going to set it to 90. And we're going to select the color green. We can also customize the color. And after that, we're going to click on add new grade. As you can see that this grade has been added. We're going to click on add new and add another grade. And this one will be the A grade. 
the point will be 3.5 and the maximum percentile will be 89 and the minimum percentile will be 80 and for this one we are going to set this blue color and we're going to add it next using the same technique we are going to add two more grades as you can see we have added these grades now all that is left is to see this in action in order to see this in action we are going to take a quiz so if we click on courses you can see we have a course over here we're going to click on view course and it's a free course for demonstration purpose we are going to click on the enroll now button and after this we're going to scroll down and over here we can see there is a quiz we're going to click on it and we're going to start this quiz so we're going to answer this quiz All right, our quiz is complete. You can see our result is over here. We can click on details and we can see the details over here. Anyway, now let's get back to our dashboard. Now, if we go to Tutor Elmas Pro and click on Gradebook, you can see that our grade has been added over here. This is our username. It's the course, the quiz we completed and the time of completion and finally our grade over here and we also can see the gpa and finally the final grade so that is how you can use the gradebook to grade your students we hope this video was helpful for you guys if you found this video helpful give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on wordpress thank you for watching see you in the next video